Well, thank you, Mark, for taking a second out of your day to tell us a little bit about your company and as a member of our Chairman's Club. So to get started, tell us your name, your company, and how long you've been there. My name is Mark DeNice. My parents started DeNice Signs, it used to be called Wood Graphics, in the basement of their house 36 years ago. It's been an amazing journey, to say the least, to start in a basement with $500 on a Sears credit card and working two other jobs, flat broke, having kids at the same time, starting a company in your basement 36 years ago here in Douglas County. It was just a dream that uh, you know it would ever turn into something and my parents are constantly amazed at where we're at today, at the success we've been able to achieve, not only as a company, but as a community. We're really like a family. Uh, to see it today is really, truly amazing. And uh, we have 155 employees. We have a 103,000 square foot manufacturing facility down on industrial access. Uh, and we're just honored to be a part of the chamber and be able to be a staple in the community. Tell us a little bit about what the nice companies do. I know we can see it on 285 at Sandra's Park, but tell us what you guys do. Yeah, so it's an interesting business. When I say signage and architectural elements, you know, it's hard to envision what that might look like, but it could be, you know, the new Falcon for the Falcon Stadium where you run out under the tunnel, and that's actually architectural foam, all the way to bridge elements that are basically jewelry for bridges uh, in the, on the interstate and overpasses. Uh, you can see our work at the Cobb Galleria Center where we just built the new 120 foot tall marquee sign with a three-sided digital. It's one of the first ones of its type uh, where it actually wraps three sides and uh, it's got glass that's all edge lit uh, and that's, that changes color. It's really interesting to see these uh, different sign projects. You know, back in the day, it was all sandblasted wood. Now you have to understand how to work with every different material under the sun, all the complexities. It's, it was really like building a house, uh, building the Galleria sign. What do you love most about your job? Uh, the people. Uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's not easy running a business but when you have quality people to be able to accomplish these tasks that makes all the difference in the world uh, I couldn't imagine you know working at the nice companies and not having the team that has assembled over time so first and foremost people are your most important asset and I'll never forget that but uh, it's interesting to see how the industry's evolved and the uh, changes we've made as a company and incorporated more uh, solutions f so that we can be able to make different things. Uh, it's interesting to see, you know, back in the day, neon used to be a big thing and it's, it was really an art and it's, uh, it's a phenomenal product, but uh, it's not so practical when it came to the you know, harmful gases and the amount of electricity it would use. Um, that's not to say it's not a beautiful, beautiful piece, but LED has really come in strong, and that product has kind of taken over the industry, uh, all the way down to the uh, neon that you would use, uh, to the digital mediums where we have digital screens uh, incorporated into all kinds of signage. So, those are some of the things we've seen change. Tell us a little bit about your family and what you guys like to do in your spare time. Well. I have, my mom and dad are from here and, uh, well, they weren't born here, but this is where we were raised. I call this home. Uh, I have a sister uh, named Jackie. She's out in California and she's going to be moving this way here shortly. So, yeah, we, uh, we like to get together as a family. We like to do stuff as a family. Um, that's a phenomenal part about running a family business is that uh, it really keeps the family connected. Um, we love taking trips together. One of our things that we like to do is pick out new vacation spots and go try different, uh, try out vacationing in different areas of the country or sometimes, you know, across the pond if we mm -hmm. get the opportunity. Uh, but we love it. We, we love uh, adventuring and trying new things and we do that a lot. But, you know, when I was raised, uh, my dad was really into dirt bikes and uh, that's his big you know affinity with the dirt bike and uh, so he's continuing to do that and uh, I was just telling somebody here at the chamber this morning that he had ridden the Baja uh, four times since he's retired in the last two years so 
Um, it's pretty amazing to see what he does even at 63 years old. Uh, he's wow. very adventurous spirit. So uh, I love doing that together. We used to race dirt bikes growing up and uh, you know, my sister is a doctor of physical therapy. She's got all kinds of stuff she likes to do with my mom and they have a lot of cool soap making seminars they do and a lot of a lot of neat stuff uh, that we are able to do and uh, we just love being together as a family though at the end of the day. What do you find most beneficial about being involved in the chamber? The chamber is amazing in, in so many different respects. It, it gets you connected to the community not only through a business level but a uh, community level. It engages you with your community. It helps you to understand the full dynamic of what all there is going on in your community. Uh, not just with you know necessarily the business community, but with the uh, government, with um, with the arts. Uh, there's so much that uh, that's that's being projected you know into 2020 and beyond uh, through the government and through some of these larger organizations, and you get to be a part of that. You get to be uh, aware of what what's happening and and even be able to take part in some of the planning. So that's that's exciting. I love that part. I love connecting with new businesses and helping them be successful and in turn, uh, I can't tell you how many times that's come full circle with us and our business. So uh, the Chamber's been an essential part of what we've done here in the community. Um, okay, let's end on a fun note. All right. So I know you like to race dirt bikes when you were a kid and you like to travel, but when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? That's an interesting question. <laughs> that evolved a few times, right? Uh, as far back as I could remember, it would probably be uh, uh, wanted to go to outer space. It was pretty outer uh, ambitious, but uh, you know, you see that, and that gets you really excited. Um, and uh, you know, that that would probably be. Um, I want to be an astronaut one day. That would be so cool. And then you start thinking about strapping yourself to a rocket and, and you know, once your uh, logical self, you know, sets in, you, you start to rethink your priorities in life. But, uh, you know, I, all my, my hat's off to all those astronauts out there that can do that stuff. Um, but it's, it's amazing because in college, I really thought I wanted to take a different career path and my parents helped put me through college and it was really nice to be able to come out of college without any student debt. And I took a hard, long, hard look and said, you know, I, I want to try this. I want to try the family business for a little while. And, you know, my parents did a great job. They needed some help uh, as well. And let me, let me try this for a while and uh, see if I like it. And I had to add, I loved it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was given the opportunity to work in every position in the company, and I couldn't imagine going a different route. Uh, it was so fulfilling to literally work in every different position in our company. I think I probably worked 15 different jobs before I finally became the president of the nice companies. And uh, it was a real honor and a pleasure, and, and to be able to rub elbows with a lot of the people that are still out there today as I was going through that journey, you know, my hat's off to you guys and saying thank you for uh, teaching me and helping me be successful in leading this company. And I just hope we get it right. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, thank you for taking a minute out of your busy schedule to sit down with us so we could get to know you and our followers, followers could get to know you as well. Well, and, and I just want to say real quick, thank you for doing all you do in the community. You guys are an amazing chamber. I don't know of any other chambers that are engaging at this level that get uh, connected with the board members and want to give back to the community like you guys just did here in downtown. You guys are amazing and phenomenal. I just want to say thank you for all you're doing. <laughs>